A young boy living in the village was troubled by the habit of not being able to forget old bad memories and thinking about the same thing over and over again. If someone told him something or if something went wrong with him, he would just think about that one incident all day. The same thing kept swirling in his mind all the time. Then he either cursed his luck and God for some bad incident that happened to him, or else he kept on making thoughts of taking revenge on the person who had said something to him or did something wrong to him. Because of his overthinking habit, he neither had good relations with people, nor did he know how to do any work well. He was always in a state of tension or mental disturbance. Seeing his condition, a friend of his advised him that a Zen master lives in a nearby Buddhist monastery. You go to him, he will definitely tell you some solution to this mental problem of yours. The young boy goes to the Zen master and explains his problem to him about how he keeps thinking about the same event over and over again and cannot forget the old bad things or memories. After listening to the boy's problem, the Zen master gets up from there and goes inside the monastery. Without giving any answer, the Zen master's getting up and leaving like this made the boy feel a bit strange, but he still sat there. After a while, he sees that the Zen master is coming towards him after filling a clay glass with water. The Zen master comes and stands near the boy. Then the boy also stands in front of him. The Zen master asks the boy, tell me, how much will this glass weigh? The boy said, I cannot tell exactly, but the weight of this glass is very little. Now the Zen master said seriously, my question is, what will happen if I hold this glass like this for a while? The boy said, nothing will happen. Zen master again asked, what if I hold this glass like this for an hour? Your hand will start to ache, said the boy. Zen master asked again, what if I hold this glass in the same way all day? Your hand will start to feel very painful. Your hand may go numb, your muscles may get tense, and your hand may even die, the boy said in serious words. Zen master said, great, but did the weight of the glass change in the meantime? The boy said, no, the weight did not increase. Then why was there pain in the hand and tension in the muscles? Zen master asked. Holding on for a long time, the boy replied. The Zen master asked again, what should I do now to get rid of this pain? Put down the glass, said the boy. Zen master said, exactly, and life's troubles are like this. Keep them in your mind for a while and you will feel that everything is fine. Think about them for a long time and you will start to suffer. And keep them in your mind for a long time, then they will start to make you nervous or crazy and you will not be able to do anything. The Zen master pointing to the boy said, it is important to think about the past mistakes and incidents in your life, but more important than that is to learn from them and move forward. If you keep on holding on to the same thing, then just like that glass, it will also cause pain in your life. If you sit with your past today, it will still be out of your hands, and then you will repent for it in the future. Be the person you wanna be for your past, or if you have been repenting for the mistakes you made, then try to become that person from today itself and try that today, you do not make such mistakes for which you will have to repent in future. So stop worrying and focus on your today's actions because worry takes the person to his funeral pyre.